Good evening. Councils and businesses in the West Midlands could get the chance to bid for £49 billion of government funding if proposals outlined by Lord Heseltine are approved. He came to Birmingham today to announce plans for greater economic growth. They include more power and money being given to the regions, but not everyone is welcoming the plans. Alvin de Sulu reports. Lord Heseltine was given a warm welcome at Birmingham's Town Hall as he addressed members of the city's private and public sector. He's calling on the coalition government to take power and money away from Whitehall and give it to the regions to boost economic growth. Big cities like Birmingham should decide how much money they need and where it should be spent. It recreates the pride that made Birmingham what it was in the first place. It changes the emphasis to local people who are here, who, who live, eat, breathe, dream Birmingham. The local enterprise partnership, which is the, the private sector and the local authority, know much better than London what Birmingham needs. His review proposes £250,000 of public funding be given to LEPs over the next two years to plan their strategy. They will then have the opportunity to bid from a single pot of £49 billion. This will be made available in 2015. People here decide what transport projects are going to go ahead, so how are we going to actually work towards the making the most of High Speed 2, making the most of the airport expansion. It means we're going to think about what money goes for skills development. Lord Heseltine chose the city of Birmingham to make this announcement. He says this city has produced some of the country's greatest thinkers, including Joseph Chamberlain. He hopes by giving power back to the local people, it will stimulate not only the regions, but the country's economic growth. Patrick Brown runs a small to medium-sized business. He employs more than 100 people. He feels less enthusiastic about Lord Heseltine's vision. It's the constant change that I'm worried about more than anything else. And we're not uh, working with the same people uh, who understand our business. That uh, every government that comes in needs to keep changing the, uh, the way they do things. It's hoped, if approved, his proposal will create more jobs and make the local economy more competitive and strong. As Belvin de Sidney reporting, so just how will the local enterprise partnerships manage this investment? Well, to tell us more, we have with us Steve Hollis, who is the Deputy Chairman of the Greater Birmingham and Solihull LEP. Steve, good to have you with us. Now, presumably, the LEPs are not publicly funded, so Critics would say, what about accountability? What happens should things go wrong? Who are you accountable to? <clears throat> if you actually look at the LEPs, they're a partnership of the public sector and the private sector. So the accountability comes through the democratically elected public sector. And what Lord Heseltine has announced today is the infusion of business to actually help in the growth agenda. Mm. And I think you've got to look at, if you look at accountability at the moment, it's based somewhere in London. Yes. You know, it's a long way from the city of Birmingham. We're a big city. The big move that's happening is we're moving that accountability right onto our doorstep. So the people that you vote for, that you interact with day to day, they are going to be the people that are going to be accountable for spending quite large sums of money. Now, how's it going to work, though, Steve? Because you've got these LEPs all over the Midlands, and the main things are uh, transport and upskilling. You need to be able to talk to these other LEPs to get some sort of strategy going, don't you? That's happening. That's happening. Um, we, we need to be a successful city region. Uh, our competition isn't Manchester or Leeds or whatever. Our competition is global. And actually, if you look at the economic assets that we have here in the Midlands, when you join all these different LEPs together, um, we are a true force. And if we get our act together, and there are signs that we will, actually, the future for this region could be very, very promising. So how do you ensure, then, that the whole of the Midlands gets a good share of that £49 billion? Well, that's down to the quality of the talent that we actually put together to write the bid. And it's a competition. And show me a business that doesn't survive or thrive when you've got good competition. And the one thing that we have, because we do have size, we're able to actually attract better talent than most. So the proposals today, potentially, we, we're going to be a net winner from these. OK, well, let's hope so. Steve Hollis, thank you very much for joining us. The transport secretary.